Fact or fiction? You find a lump in your breast. Do you always get it out? Just get it out? That's just what you do? No. That, that's absolutely not the first step, for sure. Um, you know, in today's day and age, technology is excellent. Um, the first step is usually to do a series of images, whether it's a mammogram or an ultrasound. Very often, Sonia, especially in our younger patients, a new lump is found to be just a fluid-filled sac or a cyst um, that's completely normal. And then in some cases, nothing needs to be done or you can simply stick a needle in, suck out the fluid, what's called aspirate the fluid, and make it go away. Um, even if the lump is not found to be a cyst, I mean, it's a, what's called a solid lump, there's ways of getting information about that lump, which is incredibly important, um, before rushing someone off to surgery. And in today's day and age, for most cases, the standard for a new solid lump is to do a needle biopsy first um, before rushing someone off for surgery. And, and the reason for that is, is that if the lump is proven to be benign and, um, and everyone is convinced based on the biopsy results that it's normal, um, it doesn't always necessarily need to be removed. And sometimes someone can be spared surgery. Um, even if the lump turns out to be cancer, Actually, the needle biopsy is quite helpful because it can provide a lot of information about how to treat that cancer before, before the person goes off to the operating room. And it increases the chances that we'll be able to perform a cancer operation all in one step. I mean, imagine if a woman has a lump and we just take her to the operating room and remove it, then we send her home and the piece of tissue comes back, the, the analysis a week later she's cancer, well then almost certainly she'll need a second surgery. So the goal is to minimize the number of operations a person can need and so a needle biopsy can really help do that.